<laughs> ah, we can we can handle a bit of this though. Some of my cores are at least close. The issue here is that I have a uh, terrific lack of uh, admin for coring all this land I'm about to take. I hope Jill will see the funny side. I should be improving their relations all along as well. We'll throw them a gift, since they may not like some of what I'm about to do. Jake, when are we going to see a 1.10 world conquest from you? Uh, not anytime soon. And aren't we on 11 right now? Okay, GB, it's clear that I have brutalized you. Scotland cost 92? Something about that ain't right. But there isn't much I can do. A lot of that is down to you, so I'm having some horrible land. Hmm, this is a shame, and I can't transfer anything to you. Alright, what can I do to Great Britain? You're gonna give me your dosh, let's face it. Give me loads of dosh. Sadly, I can't force religion upon you. Okay, for once in my life, I'm going to use automatic fleet transportation. Better be worth it. Scandinavia, you will give me all this garbage. Get off my continent. I don't like the implication that I should do Sunset Invasion again. We're still in a war together, which is giving us a good chunk of that bonus, so I need to give you a gift and fast. Just plain go. Oh, hello, Rebel Factions. How I missed you. Uh, no, maybe this is not the smartest thing in the world to do. Unless I have cores on provinces. Oh, look, everything costs everything. Uh... as much as we can for what we have, and then anything else can get the conversion going out. Frankly, it was never going to last. And you get inside me. <laughs> Base plus one. My overextension is uh, so bad that it's pushing down my republic, uh, my diplomatic reputation. So my annexation of Jelra is going to go really rather slowly. One idea is to break vassalization and just annex them anyway. But no, let's get this done in some way, a clean way. Oh, that's horrible. Oh well. Why do anything easy, right? Yeah, don't worry, Jelra will be done in 1814. Bags of time, right? Yeah, sorry, let's just have our nationalist sentiment. I ain't scared of them. Also, uh, forget automatic fleet transportation and doing this my way.
right, bring him on. I love rebels. Jake Admin Advisor. Oh, please don't tell me my- Oh, he died! The one guy pushing down my revolt risk is dead now. Okay, well, let's get some extra money. How did you even... Oh, well, it matters not. What matters is how we fix this. You know what, I'm starting to think 60 stacks are going to be uh, a little useful around here. At least we've begun the integration of uh, Jelda. You didn't hire the plus three guy. You know what, now that you mention it, that would be a slightly smarter thing to do. Even if the other guy has a better benefit. Let's get our plus threes on the go. Hmm. Rebels fighting rebels. I'll take it. But uh, I'm fighting the... Uh, well, whoever wins is fine by me. here. But at least this should prevent any more uh, uprisings here. Uh, well, maybe not. Let's, uh, let's kind of give them what they want. Since these lands are going to be rather revolting. And I need to concentrate elsewhere. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. Goodbye stability as well. Which costs uh, admin, which I need for coring. Also, you are the, uh, the seek and destroy one, so there you go. You have a free guy. And... Hmm. You might seem a little broken, but I think you can take them on. I'll give you a bit of backup though, and you folks, we have other guys to take care of. Holland and Kurland need to be taken care of. Well, I don't think Kurland's going to make it. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, it's not like I'm coring Lubeck, but I still don't want it to fall. Accepting rebel demands. I'm sorry, are you mad? Where are those uh, those guys that are on rebel stomping duty? Where did they go? Maybe I should go to war so that people help me out with my rebel problem. But I think that enables some even worse events. It's alright, we'll pull through. We always do. Let's just kill them. Kill him dead. Gives me uh, two recent uprisings on Lubeck, so there shouldn't be any need to worry. It's tempting to throw the sortie at it as well, but we shall not do that. But we absolutely need a force over in Estonia. So even if you take uh, monstrous attrition on the way there, please do go. You got six maneuver, you can handle it. Done and done right. And why do I have just can't oh <laughs> so dead. Okay, now there is still the problem of down here. So belong and help. Yes, the attrition will be bad. 
No, I don't care. Okay, where's that fleet of mine? I'm going to need you right here so that people don't cross that straight and murderize me. But I also want Kurland not to fall to rebels right now, even if they are particularists. I hate particularists because... Really? That's all they want? It's not even worth fighting for. But fight I shall, because they don't deserve to live. Terrifying. Alright, let's save the coring of a cell as well. Ah, it never rains, but it sure as well pours. the rebel factions are calming down now. <laughs> May as well get these places converted since I can't really core them in a hurry. Live land, sure. Add you to the list. Okay, oh, now I said I didn't like these 20 stacks being around, but here we go. Ugh, Swedish Patriots, there's no such thing. Kill them. Kill all of them. <laughs> no one wants to work. <laughs> Revikur, good morning. Where are you that it's morning? Even Theodore Rome got the plus 15. It's terrifying. And utterly not where I want rebels. The trouble with clicking on the Nationalist Sentiment button is that it re-enables the event, whereas if I just leave it there I get six months of guaranteed no Nationalist Sentiment, which is rather nicer. Rather a lot nicer. Once I clear these guys out, and the Nagis, here they come. Those guys down south. No problem. I think we're down 200,000 manpower from these rebels alone so far. I just hope nobody declares war on me, because that would suck and a half. Not the statesman who's the only thing integrating this country. A naysayer, horrified by our conquest bent foreign policy, a leading court advisor has resigned and left the country. But where would he go? Where would he go? Alright, so far so not bad. We'll get you back over there to deal with Germanic rebels. 
sure we're going to have more around here, but that matters not. Just kind of heal up in Gothzig, do a bit of a run around so you don't uh, catch the other guys. And you folks... Get it taken care of. Oh, not Lubeck again. How Lubeck again? Already had two recent revolts. Guess it wanted a third. Jake, have another admin, 100 admin core something. Good thinking. Ah, let's core this other Swedish piece of crap. Lubeck is just a very angry place. Yeah, but it has to be mine. Ugh, again. The most important thing is that nothing blocks my core creation, and secondary importance is taking care of the uh, protecting my missionaries, since faith is our shield around here. Oh, you know what? You were never welcome in my country to begin with, you naysayer. I'll take this handsome chap with the lovely beard. Hold on. Old people. I don't want old people in my court. Get out. That's fine, gentlemen. He keeps his trimmed. Oh, coalition time. That's strange. Why would Bohemia and Netherlands think they alone could take me in a coalition? Well, it doesn't matter. No one's going to actually do it. Norway, Lorraine, Peshaw. Peshaw, I say. culture convert to goth then you don't have to hold it there is a certain bit of logic to what you say okay Portugal is worrisome in that they hold uh, quite a bit of power by way of the Castilian personal union all I need is Oh yeah, these guys. I completely forgot about this region. Okay, in that case, half of you, please go and take care of that. The other half of you... I don't even think I have enough boats for that. 65, 35, 40, 50... That seems like too many to me. Alright, you just wander over there and we'll figure out what to do with you later. Ah, Not the Italians. I can't get to Italy. And Tuscany hate me. Alright, change of plan for you folks. I want you over in Gothstantinople where I shall ferry you over. Unless there's enough... Uh, yeah, Rosetta. Rosetta can support you. Alright, Holland's down at least, which was a uh, big part of it. Jake, guarantee Bohemia and stop it one month later. It doesn't work like that. It's a one-sided uh, truce. Well, at least I got a ton of power projection from ripping Scandinavia to bits. And Jelra will be integrated someday, right? Okay, at least there appears to be no further rebel problem here. Or here. Still gonna ship you folks over. May as well hold the hills. I'm not 
seeing anything minor about these minor inconveniences though. Let's get people conformed to the true faith. That will uh, surely reduce revolt risk in the long term and uh, horrifically increase it in the short term. Jake Admin, yeah, I could probably start another core now. Now we will never see a revolt in Lubeck ever again. But I like to live dangerously. Also, I hope none of these revolts stop the uh, the Gothic invasion. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Still working on you, but we'll get there. All Greeks are forced to go to Corfu. And conform to whatever Bulgaria asks of them. Kind of beautiful in its own sick and twisted way. Right, the Hessians, the Nagai, and the Papal Nationalists. Yeah, okay, that shouldn't be a thing, but I don't like the rules. Jake, over 300,000 men have died during this time of rebellion. Yep. How'd you get this music playing? This is the Guns, Drums, and uh, something else music DLC. Which I bought back when I had to buy Paradox Things. Dark times, frankly. Couldn't even take Napoli. Fresh set of cores, but we're still way above it. The problem is that these cores are uh, tiny. Have a half decent stack, I think. A 40. Keep it on the Pope, because the Pope seems to want to rise up, and the rest of you can go home in time for Christmas. Hello, Portugal. You are very big. And quite scary. Now, if this were under the old rules, where you don't get the rebels ticking up and you don't get um, recent revolt modifier, then I would be in a lot of trouble. Because at least now, for every place that gets a revolt, I get 10 years of like, minus 20 revolt risk, which is keeping me together right now. Jake, improve relations with Portugal. I think we'd have a long way to go to overcome the uh, 170 aggressive expansion, but yeah, you're the boss. Kill some rebs, get our land back, everything will be okay. Remember the time when uh, nationalism was minimum revolt risk? Yeah, I choose to forget those times as well. This is severely speeding up the rate at which we can integrate Jelra. Yeah, Ethiopia is crazy strong. Good on them for that, but they are still Muslim. As in Muslim technology. Naturally, they are Coptic. Also, all these lands that we cored, we can now convert them, get ourselves that. Uh, actually, maybe we have a mission for it. No, just for claiming Holstein. Which we're gonna do anyway, because mill points are good. Mill points. I have no interest in Holstein. Filthy Swedish land that it is. 
Jake, you have some exiled troops probably in Scandinavia. Wow. Can't tell you how useful these guys would have been a while back. But bring them down here. Thanks for that. Oh, man, even Ganja. Ganja! I don't want them rising up there. You can have your autonomy. It's alright, it ticks down extremely quickly thanks to our bonuses. Still short, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, about 900 admin to finish off the rest of this. But that's only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, ah, we'll be fine. With these four done, we'll be out of overextension hell. Till then, well, it's fine. I can't get rid of the culture conversion policy because it hasn't been there for 10 years. Which makes me wonder if there's any particularly horrible culture that I want rid of, but nothing springs to mind. Gothic has been spread uh, rather nicely in my view. Okay, maybe a bit more of a Mare Nordstrom would be nice, but... Well, no buts, let's just do it. can't do it here because uh, the nationalism came, thanks to the rebels, but at least we'll have a, uh, a chain of gothic land, which I think will be nice, and that's all that matters. Yeah, we're getting Jelra done uh, a lot faster now, thanks to our diplomatic reputation coming back. So who's next? Shirvani's in Shirvan, funnily enough. None of that, please. Jake, are there still Romanians in your country border? I hope not. Wow. Get out. Sure, I could sell the land to Bulgaria, but I think Bulgaria are uh, beautiful in their own ugly way right now. And what the heck. Everything's so nice and peaceful now. What? what kind of pleb settles for one missionary on a province? Kurland can enjoy seven. Look at him go, look at him go! It's like, yeah, my work here is done. Very influential man. You know what, we're having quite a lot of trouble, but frankly I don't think we're having enough trouble. Let's get a canal on the go. Jake, how long is it going to take to culture convert Rome? Culture enrichment of Theodore Rome will take 14 years. Normandy have left the coalition against us. God knows why, but I don't think this three man coalition is going to stand up to much.
always go for the uh, shock, the aggressive shock, although I was almost swayed by aggressive morale. There's only so many dip points in the game, and uh, there's still a lot of nationalism around here. So, sadly, I cannot eradicate Austrian right now. Oh my god, this event. Doing my nuts in. I want to get uh, something in the way of my uh, army composition back to how it should be for an eastern power drop off 40,000 in Gothstantinople to become kind of central stick some more in Adana and keep those cores coming Hey, Sicily was good to me. I don't want to eradicate their culture. Nothing but good to me. Everyone get over to Hamburg. We'll sort you out from there. Although I foresee quite a few more rebel problems on the horizon. Uh, it's a bit expensive, but that might help. together. <laughs> so I've had quite a lot of fun in this campaign. I don't know if you've enjoyed it, and really it doesn't matter, because I have. Send you guys back to attrition hell as well. Jake, how does the new world look oh ugly as sin? You don't want to uh, cast your eyes on that. Not at all. Only because of Olenets and Cargopel. Olenets and Cargopel. Oh, too little and much too late. Get to work, lads. There is little time. I remember Patriot sentiment. It brings back memories from the uh, the first EU4 or EQ World Conquest. I wouldn't really call them great memories, but they are memories. And I'm sick of this little 20 stack. He needs his buddies with him. Ten cannons. Uh, two more horses. And eight foot soldiers. Hmm, short one place to do it. There you go. Ruthenian culture is big and has a lot of base tax.
Plus, I don't think we're going to see uh, many of these culture conversions finished before the integration of Jalra, which is when the achievement should pop. If it doesn't pop, then I have missed something. Something pretty bad. Come on, you can do it. Almost. Almost enough. Hold on, was Antwerp the... Uh, yes, it was, thank God. No more Patriot sentiments. Ah. But now that the truce is gone, I foresee that we may be having a bit more in the way of coalition. I'm not going to cancel this, Sue. Not when it's going so well. Didn't you see the last pop-up? Yeah. GB and Portugal. That might be enough for the game to think, mm, better start killing these guys. Scandinavia gets added to that mix, and that'll be a problem. A problem that we will deal with by building more troops, funnily enough. But at least our manpower is coming back, so they won't see that as a source of weakness. Jake, isn't Liege a Germanic culture province? No, it is not. Liege is Wallonian, which belongs to the French culture group. I can't explain that, but... What can I explain? Oh, it's just disgusting, isn't it? Why cosmopolitan? We've had a lot of guns, drums and steel uh, songs during this campaign. I really think I've doubled up on them by accident, making them twice as likely. Okay, a fresh 40 stack. I may as well throw them over here since we tend to have revolts in this region. And we are well below force limits, so what we're we gonna do? Click is meant to be add 10, but it is not adding 10. Oh! It does, but only for one of the shifts. That's interesting. feels like a uh, little bohemia here should be my vassal, but nah, there is really no point at this stage. The achievement is done, we just need to wait for Jelra to tick down, so we as well come out and speed five it. Ah. What is Belgium? It is a made-up country. Again, another guns, drums, and steel uh, song. But that's alright, we have exploits for this. Right, another one? That's more like it. Yeah, all this gothic.
the only Greeks exiled to Corfu, where they will forever live under the thumb of glorious Bulgaria. Speaking of glorious, let's maintain, uh, maintain that glory. Alright, people for some second twisted reason are asking to look at this new world. Mmm. Looks like somebody dropped paint. It, ugh. Bottomless pits and one-hit kills are bad for the heart, but this is bad for the soul. Just bad. Jake, what the hell happened to Portugal? What about them? Well, I gave them all this land, and uh, they're a lucky nation, so I have every confidence that they've managed to core it. Most of it. Good job. They used to be my best buddy. Jake made the conscientious decision to turn this abomination on. Uh, simply because I don't normally use it, so I figured I'll use it for a change. Okay, well at least we're not getting guns, drums and steel for a change. Now the Hanoverians want to rise up and I can't be having that. It's all thanks to the uh, minor inconvenience. Syrians as well. right in the world. Yeah, I could finally core Lubeck as well. 87 on Jalra. France is destroyed. Scandinavia has been pushed off the continent. A successful invasion of Great Britain. Turkish delight is removed. Vodka is removed. Baguette is broken. Greyskin Expunged. Hmm. Something not right about removing grey skin only to see nothing but a grey map, but I digress. Grape juice is supreme today, I guess. Theodora is purple, Bulgaria is purple, Milan is kinda purple. Theodoro is purple, Jelra is purple. Purple domination today, actually. Of all flavors. <sighs> so I'm not sure if my new campaign will start tomorrow. I haven't thought it through at all. It's not impossible that it could run tomorrow, but I also need to do my punishment games, so... There's still going to be quite a bit of streaming tomorrow. Probably. <sighs> Starting in the early afternoon. And again, I need to do some shopping as well. So I never promise times. It's also good to see that my computer is working again. As ever, if you have a good uh, idea for a campaign run, do PM it to me. I read all my PMs. And even if I don't respond, if I don't respond, don't worry, I probably just think what you said is stupid. There we 
go. And Gothic Invasion Achievement Unlocked. I guess you can't really see it on the screen. But it's there. Check it on my profile if you are that way inclined. You're a bit strange if you are. Alright, it is late o'clock right now, so it is long past time for bed. Thank you very much for, one, believing that me and my PC can pull through this, but this has been Gothic Invasion. It's been a lot of fun. And exploit free, if you're willing to believe that. So yeah, have a wonderful night, and... Uh, there are a lot of things not to settle for. I trust you know the right ones.